What if Goku was born with demonic key? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 3? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on what if Goku was born with demonic key. We mentioned that Goku and King Dabora's battle has begun as both of them went and they rushed towards one another and they begun to attack each other. Goku saw that King Dabora was towing with him as he easily went and started to surpass Goku and beat the shit out of him. Goku then decided to go and display one of his training with King Kai as he went and used a new technique called the Kaioken, mixing it with times 3. Using that much power, Goku went and rushed towards King Dabora and began to attack him, but King Dabora wasn't afraid by Goku's power, as he easily went and used more power and overpowered Goku. Goku then went and used more Kaioken, but it still wasn't enough, until Piccolo came to help Goku, and they both worked as a team to fight the King Demon, but Dabora was still holding his own, as he managed to go and beat the shit out of Goku and Piccolo, and none of them stood a chance against him. With that, the z Fires came to help Goku as he decided to go and use his trump card, which was the Spirit Bomb. Goku went and powered up a Spirit Bomb and aimed it towards Dabora, as he got hit by it and he took a bit damage, but it still wasn't enough, but he decided to spare Goku since he liked that Goku had a determination to get stronger, and he told him to get stronger as he'll come to have a rematch. Dabora has now left and Goku has gained a new friend, as 5 years has passed and now Goku started to settle down with Boma, and just when everything was going well, Vegeta was making his way to worse planet Earth to get Goku. What if Goku was born with Demonic Key Part 3? Everyone were at Goku's house enjoying the party as Goku decided to go and surprise everyone with his kid and his kid was no one other than Gohan. They were all happy for Goku and Boma as everything was going well for them and during his life with Boma, Goku decided to go and get Dr. Brief to make a training room for him or you could say a graviton machine where he could go and train and get stronger. Dr. Brief has agreed to do that as he built that machine for Goku and the biggest pro here for Goku is since Bulma is his wife he wouldn't have no one nagging at him to go and get a job because Bulma is rich as it is and therefore Goku was enjoying his life continuing to do whatever he wants and train harder as he had a plan to make his son be a fighter just like him. Life was going very good for the Z fighters until Vegeta, the prince of all Saiyan, decided to make his way towards planet Earth to get Goku. At Goku's party, everyone was enjoying their time, but from there, Piccolo and Goku sensed the energy coming far, as that energy was no one other than Vegeta. Goku sensed it as he saw that it wasn't high, but it was still pretty high compared to anyone that was there, while Piccolo looked towards Goku and said, Do you sense that Goku? Yes I do, but it's nothing we cannot handle. But what we need to know is, is he friend or is he a foe? That's what I'm curious about. <clears throat> from the way our luck has been, I'll say he's not a friend. Well, there's only one way to find out Piccolo, let's go and see who he is. With that, Goku and Piccolo told everyone to stay put, as he'll be right back and they decide to go to see who it is. From there, Vegeta has now arrived to planet Earth, as the space pod has crash landed and from there when he got up, he saw that everyone was watching him, but from there he went and used his scatter to locate where Kakarot was. Once when he picked up a very high power level, making his way, from there he read the power level as he began to trip out. Since the reading was too high, and therefore he said, No way! This cannot be Kakarot's power, it's too high! Is this really Kakarot? If so, I'm done for! And before you know it, Piccolo and Goku has now arrived as Vegeta saw their power and he began to get a little bit worried, not knowing that Kakarot's power is this strong. Goku looked towards Vegeta as he saw by his tail and he knew right there that he was a Saiyan. As he said, I see you're a Saiyan too, so tell me what is a Saiyan doing here? K Kakarot! I'm not just no ordinary Saiyan, I'm the prince of all Saiyan, which makes me your prince too. Oh, I'm sorry your highness. Where's my manners? Tell me, how could I assist you for not caring what you are? 
And besides, don't call me Kakarot. My name is Goku. I go by that name. And also, are you a friend or a foe? <laughs> you keep your mouth shut, green guy. And as for you, Kakarot, I have come here to get you to come with me so we can go and confront Frieza. Frieza? Who is that? Y you mean you never heard of Frieza? He's a tyrant that destroyed our planet. He killed my parents, your parents, everyone. All of our Saiyan race has died by that bastard. And he's been trying to rule the world and the universe for the past 20 years now. If we don't put an end towards Frieza, I'm pretty sure he is going to come to this earth. You love this planet so much, huh? I can see you're so devoted to it. Well, how about I tell you this? If you don't put an end towards Frieza, he will come to your planet and destroy it. After all, that's what we do. We are planet brokers. And unfortunately for us Saiyans, we got no choice but to work with that bastard. Otherwise, he will kill us. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> Not until he comes to your world will I just tell you. He's going to be coming here soon. After our Earth is on his radar and he did hear about a Saiyan fighting a demon king. What is that about Kakarot? And also, I'm not liking your attitude, Kakarot. You need to lower it. Look here, buddy. If you're smart, you can see how strong Goku is. And Goku also isn't your ordinary Saiyan, too. Goku here possesses a demonic key. Say what? D demonic key? Is that even possible? Yes, it is. And tell me, if you're the prince of all Saiyan, why would you come to get me? You're way higher than me, aren't you? Well, like I told you, with your help, we could easily take down Frieza. I'm not strong enough. But I see with you, me, Raditz, and Nappa working together, we can. Oh yes, Kakarot, Raditz. He's also your brother who managed to survive. Huh? My brother? That's right. Well, if you say that Frieza's gonna be coming to my planet very soon, I will have to go and stop him. Otherwise, I had no choice, huh? On top of that, I do not want to work with you guys. I have my own life and my own business. So I take it that you'll come with us? Yes, I will. Not because you said so. But because Frieza is someone that's evil and strong, and I want to test my power against him. And especially if he's going to come and try to hurt my planet, I'm not going to let him come near it. I'll kill him before he can. <laughs> Although you might come with me, Kakra, you need to know your place. I am so far stronger than you. <laughs> and if anything, I might just kill you here. Oh, really? Well, then why don't you tell me if you're stronger than me after you see this? Goku has now powered up, as he was able to use his demonic key, covering his body, allowing him to have purple eyes and purple aura, giving him this type of look. This is something I have developed over the years, you could say a little mini power boost, and on top of that I could stack it with my Kaioken. Kakarot! Kaioken? What is that? There's a lot of stuff you don't know about me, Prince. Now if you still think you could kill me, why don't you come and try to attack me? Vegeta was shocked and speechless to see just how powerful Goku was, as he couldn't believe that Goku was this strong, and he noticed that even if he went and used his great ape form, he still will die. So he decided to play this cool and accept to be Kakarot is stronger than him and said, Look, I'm just here to ask you to help me. In return, you'll be able to fight someone as strong as Frieza and save your world. What do you say, Kakarot, up for the challenge? Okay then, you have me there. Now tell me where I can find this Frieza person. Well, if you allow me, let's talk about it. As Goku decided to go and bring Vegeta to his home, and when he got there, everyone was confused on why Vegeta was there, as he'd never seen a person like that before, but when they saw the tail, they remembered that Goku also had a tail. Vegeta noticed that Goku didn't have a tail, as he was shocked to see why Goku got rid of it, but he told him that he need to in order for him to fully utilize his demonic key power and for the sake of the earth, that way they don't get disturbed by the moon. After telling Goku the entire history on Frieza and how he destroyed the planet, from there Goku was more interested in learning that he still has an older brother, as he didn't believe it but from there, Vegeta told him that he is nothing like how Goku is, he is far weaker than Goku and he doesn't possess any demonic key. Now when it comes to this Frieza person, where do you think we can find him? Well he's at our base as we speak right now, I have the scouter, let me ask Radis and Nappa. Vegeta went and used a scouter since it is a communicator and he asked him to tell him where Frieza is but they informed him that Frieza has left to a planet making his way towards a planet called Planet Namek as he wanted to gather something called the Dragon Balls which Zarban told him about a myth. Upon hearing that Goku got concerned 
as he didn't know what Frieza's reason was to go to Planet Namek, and he knew that Planet Namek had some Dragon Balls since Kami was the one who told him a lot of history about the Dragon Balls and their originator. With that, Kami has now arrived, as he told them that if they want to go to Planet Namek, they can use his spaceship, since it is far faster than any ship. Goku hearing that Frieza is going to Planet Namek, and Vegeta was confused on what the Dragon Ball is, so he told them what they are, and now Vegeta was very upset, hearing that Frieza is going to get something like that. If that bastard goes to get the Dragon Balls, we're all done for Kakarot! We need to hurry up and stop Frieza before he can! <laughs> I'm with you on that. Don't worry, I have my way of getting there too. Kami then told Goku to use the spaceship, but Goku told him that Bulma's father has already created a far faster spaceship for him and that he could also train in there since he had this room for the past 5 years and therefore Goku took Vegeta with him as Piccolo wanted to come too and now they all set a course to go towards Planet Namek. Once when they have left, a few days has passed since they took them time to get to Planet Namek but they have now arrived as the door opened and from there Goku can sense a lot of strong fighters that were there but he also sensed Frieza's power level, as he got excited sensing just how strong Frieza was and it wasn't something that he could not not deal with. Goku then decided to go and make his way towards Frieza. Vegeta followed, while the others had no idea what's coming but they could sense in a scouter that a high power level is making their way towards Frieza's spaceship. Once when Goku got there, he saw that all of Frieza's men were surrounding the spaceship as he decided to go and turn all of them into stone. Upon doing that, Frieza came out of spaceship as he saw that all his men has become stone and from there Radis and Nappa has also assisted Frieza until they saw that Vegeta and Kakarot was standing out there. With that, they quickly went and made their way towards Goku and Vegeta as Frieza got angry seeing that and said, I see that the monkeys decided to go rally against me, huh? <laughs> Frieza, you fool! We were never on your side. We had this all planned out to kill you and now I brought you something that you cannot even beat. And what is that? His name is Kakarot. He's a demonic Saiyan, you can say. What? So you're telling me that Saiyan that fought a demon king is actually a real thing? That is right. His name is King Debora. Show him some respect. And I have fought him and managed to survive that battle. And now you're going to fight me, Frieza. I heard that you're making your way towards my planet. Huh? What are you talking about? Planet Earth. Oh, that planet. Well, you can see, it does sell for a good amount of money with all the technology that has advanced there. I wouldn't mind going there myself and eradicating all the life forces. <laughs> Over my dead body. How's this? You come and fight me first. <laughs> Bring it on, monkey. I do love exterminating monkeys, so I wouldn't mind killing the rest that's here. You guys have all sealed your fate. As Frieza went, and he transformed to his second form. Are you ready, monkey? <laughs> I'm ready. Frieza and Goku are now ready to go battle it, as you have a demon Saiyan versus Frieza the Tyrant. Find out what happens in the next episode of What If Goku Was Born with Demonic Key. Make sure you click the bell, my Z fans, so you'll be the first to know when the next episode comes out. And if you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it, so you can become one of the first Z fighters.